Hi guys and welcome to another demo. Today I'm going to just show you a brief one, how to actually add a door onto this um, isometric projection. And so if we're looking at an example, we're looking at these, this, both the door and the window, they're essentially the same thing. And you can see that it's really a combination of two different shapes. There's a gray rectangle that's like in the back, and then there's a pink rectangle that's sitting on top of that gray rectangle. And because of how they're overlapped, they end up creating this illusion of the space going back in place. I might actually add a third um, piece to this uh, window door situation. So let's just get right, in, <coughs> right into it. So I'm on the side, my isometric right side of this object. I'm going to pull out my pen tool and I'm just going to start clicking away here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of build in the background shape. Again, looking for how the um, pen lines up with the grid in the background. Look for those intersecting points, and I'll close it up. With that actually selected, what I'm going to do is just hit my eyedropper and then select something else. Um, that way I can see it quickly. I'm going to set it to that kind of uh, deep pink um, on my little sample image there. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just describe the inside edge of the wall kind of like going back into this room space. And so I'm going to take my pen tool again and I'm seeing that it's putting the plus sign on there which means it wants to add an anchor point. So I'm just going to deselect uh, by taking my selection tool and clicking off and then I'll get my pen tool out again and start adding away here. You'll notice here though, I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom of this edge because I want to create this sense of like an inside ledge to this wall. And so I'm coming at this diagonal line right here, going back up to the corner. Looks like I'm not perfect there. And then I'll close it up. And this we're going to set to like a dark gray right there, kind of like a greenish gray. So immediately you can see there's kind of this illusion of like a space that's being opened into. By the change of color and the shape of that plane, it looks like the wall kind of goes to an interior space. The last thing I might do is like on the base of the floor, maybe I'll put one more shape. And that shape would be the same thickness as the wall. Something like this. because this is closer to the opening and perhaps there's light that's shining down I might make it just a little bit lighter and then I'll take my grid my guides off with control semicolon makes it go away there you can kind of see that preview of this um, this door or potentially a window what's really neat about this is again since we're using the isometric grid once you draw something once you can use it again so I'm going to group this together. But to get this uh, oriented on the other side, on the isometric left plane, I can just go up into Object Transform and then hit Reflect. And it will actually flop that um, door to the opposite side. I'll hit OK. Bring my grids back on. Zoom in here. Set that door right in place. I'm being kind of picky about how close it gets to there. It wasn't perfect, but I think it'll work. Take my guides off. Then the last thing I'm going to do is just select this guy right here, double click on it, and I'll make it a little bit lighter. That way there's just some separation there. And I'll hit OK. So that's going to be our basic demo. How to add a door to a surface so it looks like it cuts into it. Thanks, guys.